and yesterday's video we went over this new battle royale program i'm a little bit more than halfway towards getting my non-sellable pack i don't know who i should choose i'm thinking i'm gonna go you darvish but maybe i should pick nelson cruz and of these two cards which one do y'all think i should choose out of this non-sellable flawless pack once we get there now there are missions that i've done nelson cruz let me show y'all i've actually used him a little bit two hits both of them homers let's draft him today let's get some gameplay with the card that we could potentially be choosing see if he's really worth it out of this diamond round i've already gotten the 500 parallel xp with anthony rizzo i'm at 200 with justin upton but i've already used all the other pitchers brian wilson's the only pitcher that i have left so i'm gonna draft brian wilson hope we can get one of the other diamonds to pop up right here i'm not sure why on these rounds it's not showing the cards paralleled but ozzy albies i already got him to parallel one i already got that 500 shohei otani already got the 500 so it's between jesse winker and this christian yelich for me and i've been hitting a lot of home runs in br i think i'm gonna choose jesse winker right there silver round i've done babe ruth i've done lee smith mike schmidt sitting at 206 so we're gonna keep using mike schmidt a little bit try to finish that mission Ooh. Wait, I really can't go wrong in this round. David Dahl, the lefty, already got a couple righties. I think I'm choosing the killer, Harmon Killerbrew. Who would y'all have chosen right there? I don't think you could really go wrong, especially in Battle Royale. I think I gotta choose Ellie, even though his hitting attributes aren't as good as the 99. I'm gonna have him as my shortstop. Let's keep getting some switch hitters, get Jorge Polanco on this team. Starting pitching, doesn't really matter. Mitch Garver, ooh, Mitch Garver is a good BR card. I haven't used him though. Man, I really haven't played BR much this year. Other years, that's the main mode I've really played. And this year, I think the main mode I'm playing is play versus CPU, showdown, conquest, things like that. Lance Lynn will get him in the rotation. I'm not really too worried about my pitching though, because I'm really planning on mostly, if not only, using Brian Wilson. I want to try to get that parallel XP. I'm not sitting here trying to go 12 0 because by the time i get three or four wins i'm definitely gonna have some of these missions done and i'm gonna want to redraft my team a little bit now there are some extra points for getting to nine wins for going to 12 and 0 but it's usually a little bit faster for me as part of it and then it's also just less stressful oh man i want to choose new bar here am i replacing anyone in the lineup i don't think so so it would just be off the bench it'd be kind of nice to have a switch hitter Man, I'm sad that I'm passing up Lars Nupar there, but I think it's the right move. And I think it's just less stressful and honestly sometimes a little bit quicker unless you actually get to the nine wins for me for doing and getting through this program. I don't really see a reason to, at least right now, try to be making deep runs. John Birdie, by the way. John Birdie's got a good swing in this game. I guess I could grab Jose Alvarado. I think we got a pretty good team here. We definitely have a stacked lineup. Ruzdar can be in the pen as well. Final round of the draft before we hop into some gameplay. I'm liking how this team looks. I think we're going to put up a lot of runs. It's actually kind of crazy to me that Mitch Garver has 95 and 67 for his power. And then you check Cal Raleigh and he has 95 and 67 for his power literally the exact same that's kind of wild trying to win get parallel xp with these cards away team hitting first facing the lefty jojo romero of course we have that brian wilson on the mound for us oh and mike schmidt the program card the ball just exploded off of his bat it's a one nothing lead. That's a nice amount of parallel XP for him right there. Nelson Cruz doesn't even get to try to hit another home run here on video. He's just being intentionally walked. Harmon Killebrew says, you're going to walk him to get to me. And it ends up paying off. I need to start a two-ounce rally. Mark McGuire's my DH. Good timing. A little bit under it. We have a lead going to the bottom of the first inning. My first batter with Brian Wilson... And it's a base hit. Our perfect game's gone. Our no-hitter's gone. I would like a double play. I want fast innings, low pitch counts, and as many strikeouts as we can with this card. And not a strikeout, but it's a double play. I will 100% take that. And I'm looking for my first strikeout. Let's go. He got it. There's some extra parallel XP. One, two, three, top of the second for us. 
Brian Wilson's officially out of energy. This is where it could be a little bit tough to pitch on the mound. Two outs, bottom of the second, and it's a double. If Jesse Winker gets here, and he does, there we go. It's another scoreless inning for Brian Wilson. I'm going to try to add on to my lead a little bit. There's a high chance with him being out of energy completely that I give up a solo home run in the bottom half of this inning. So we really would like to add on to our lead a little bit. Wow, he's not hitting a home run though. Should I go for the double? I think Chuck Nasty's got a noodle actually. Wait, that doesn't seem like Charlie Blackman throwing that. That was on there with no hops. He got a base hit though. Mike Schmidt had a homer in his first AB. Stay fair. And now he's got a double in his second AB. Both of them in... Ooh, that's going to be an RBI. He misplayed that. So we already got an insurance run. That's a run scored for Winker, which is some extra PXP, and an RBI for Mike Schmidt with his some extra parallel XP right there. And now Nelson Cruz misses that. I wish he would have just intentionally walked me. That's what I wanted to do with the Nelson Cruz. The killer harming killer brew. Perfect, perfect bomb. 4-0. to zero. And then Mark McGuire sends another one over the fence. That's hit a long way. I'm not sure if I saw the distance on the Harmon Killerbrew one. We'll check it here. 436 for my first homer with the gold version of Mark McGuire. And then Jorge Polanco. We had good timing, but he only has 69 power. On our way to the bottom of the third. A complete game shutout would be pretty good for Brian Wilson right here. I... I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I should have switched to my center fielder. It looked like he had a better chance to catch it, but the game gave me the left fielder from the get-go. I, I would assume it would just give me the guy who has the better chance to catch it, but my center fielder looked way faster, and that's a leadoff triple. Ooh, what a catch by Mike Schmidt. And Charlie Blackman takes Brian Wilson deep. But he still gets through three innings. He still gets the win. There's some good parallel XP. I want to go check how much we got before hopping in, trying to get some more in another game. We're 1-0 already with this team. So right next to the camera, kind of under it, we can see that Wilson is at 270 on a 500. I just need another three inning win from him. And we got his mission done. Maybe we could be 2-0 with this team. Home team, so we get a pitch first. Shohei Otani, another program card on the mound for my opponent. The bad news is, I chose a max elevation ballpark. Here we are playing at Shield Woods. And I hope y'all like home runs, because he might give up a few of them this game. The good news is... I'm the home team, so he's guaranteed to pitch three innings. One. And besides the homer, he actually had a good inning. That was the only thing that happened. So I've got my program cards, Jesse Winker followed by Mike Schmidt here, trying to just take the lead. And the first step to taking a lead, you have to tie the game first. Well, you don't always have to. You could just jump from losing to winning. But Jesse Winker helps us get there with a 488-foot home run for his first for me. And then Mike Schmidt. Wait, this card is actually glitchy. His batting average was 714 going into that AB. This is a silver card. And he has uh, three homers already in just six or seven at-bats. 413 feet on that one. 99 Nelson Cruz looking to make it three in a row man i drafted this card so excited to hit some more homers with him and i think he might just be over two or three hasn't done anything in this video at least nelson i was about to say at least nelson cruz is hitting this isn't nelson cruz that's who just made the on at least harming killer brew is hitting for us average above 500 now wow mark mcguire i didn't have any home runs with this card when I was grinding the BR program, I just couldn't hit with him. And now that's already his second of the day. I don't even remember, though, when he was a program card. That seems like forever ago. Ozzy Albies. 
is not on my team anymore, but his swing was feeling real good. Jorge Polanco's in there with a triple. My only switch hitter earlier was Ozzy Albies because I was getting his PXP done. And remember when I said that Brian Wilson was guaranteed three innings in this game? I forgot that my opponents could rage quit. So we're already 2-0 with this team. I'm going to turn off the cam so we can see the missions. And I am still a little bit above 100 parallel XP away from finishing Brian Wilson's mission. Maybe we'll be 3-0 after this game. Brian Wilson on the mound. We're the home team again. Same ballpark. So he gets the pitch first. Facing Seth Lugo for our opponent's pitcher. And that's a 1-2-3 inning for Brian Wilson. Okay, let's get him some insurance runs. I guess at this point it would be, hey, let's just get him any runs. I would love Jesse Winker and Mike Schmidt to go back-to-back to, back to start this game. Is step one done? Does that get out of here? We're a little bit early. We don't have good timing. What a catch! And that's not a homer. Wait, that's two great plays in a row. The only thing that could save this inning now is if Nelson Cruz were to actually hit one over the fence. He's one of the new flawless rewards, and I'm not even getting any hits with him. Oh, that is beautiful. I kind of want to see his no doubt animation. You know, I, I don't like to be toxic and replay all the time or anything, but this is a brand new card, 490 foot homer. Uh, I'm, I'm, I misread that 449 foot homer, but uh, <laughs> Nelson Cruz, I just want to see his no doubt animation. It's always fun for the new cards, seeing what it looks like when you hit an absolute tater. Nelson Cruz watching it fly 449 feet. Never got a great look. It looks like he kind of just walked a little bit and watched it before jogging, but I'll take it, man. I needed that. He was our 99. He was our first pick on this team and it's about time he did something. And then Harmon Killebrew gets a base hit. And Mark McGuire hits his third home run of the video. Oh, a little bit unlucky, but he reaches first. So maybe a little bit lucky. I missed it with Ellie. No, we didn't. Apparently, <laughs> I can see why people choose this ballpark all the time. I, uh, I would say, especially for ranked seasons, but even BR, as that's my first homer with live series le i would say for most modes unless i'm trying to get parallel xp but if i'm trying to win games i prefer a little bit something less hitter friendly but after one it's five zero i just really need brian wilson to get through these innings at this point does nelson cruz get here i think they actually gave him a little bit of speed nelson and we got another quit so he's not guaranteed to pitch three innings in that game either i wonder if we actually have the parallel xp let me turn off the camera again so we can see the missions and it looks like we did because that means he's parallel one we got a program pack so brian wilson got his mission complete and then mike schmidt's only about 80 away from finishing his and even though there's a mission to win nine games i'm three and oh with this team there's nothing else in a single entry that I can do. And I just realized I need another stolen base for five points. So maybe I should pay attention to that. But I already got a pitcher mission done. So I might as well forfeit this team and draft a new team. So let's go ahead and do that. I will say, even though I'm drafting this team in this video, there's not going to be any gameplay with this team. This is where we're ending the videos with this draft. I know people like to see drafts, so I figured I would include it just in case somebody wants to see it. I hope you all enjoy the video. If you're leaving now or you're going to stay, maybe drop a like, subscribe for daily uploads on the channel. I haven't used this Carlos Santana, so I'm going to grab him here. Brian Wilson, we finished. Anthony Rizzo, I've finished ryan howard and justin upton wait oh justin upton about 206 so i already have a little bit of progress with him we'll grab justin upton right there this round i finished ozzy i finished shohei otani jesse winkers at 144 haven't used yelly let's just use the guy i've been using and then i got babe ruth done mike schmidt is close this card's been nasty six hits three of them homers he's been doing great even with you know not the best attributes besides power versus lefties Lee Smith, I got done. Michael Young, haven't used yet. So Mike Schmidt, I'm going to grab him at 422. I will probably redraft, forfeit, and get a new team once I've got that 80 parallel XP that I need with him. 
now i'm just kind of looking for either more program cards i love jorge polanco have not had success though with this version of the card so i think it's better to go with mark canna who i have had success with six hits five of them homers i think he's my center fielder for right now on this team but maybe we'll see another one of those program cards pop up christian vasquez or jeremy pena i'm going jeremy pena right here i think that's going to be the right move and look at that it's another program card michael young so we can grab him here too and this is a team already filled with program cards we already got one extra and i'm glad i redrafted i guess i could get a lefty in the pen i'm already done that's something i'm not sure if i mentioned but i'm already done with every single pitcher card in the missions gary sanchez will be my catcher i like the power but i don't have any other program pitchers that i could draft max muncie by the way is a br glitch 500 average 22 for 44 current dh i love that but I'm already done with all the pitching cards missions. There's no repeatable parallel XP with Battle Royale program cards or anything like that. Devers has got a great swing for me. I think I was using him on the same team that had that Ozzy Albies. Great to see that. Anthony Santander. Yo, this is one of the best hitting teams I've ever had. A lot of good cards. A lot of good swings. Honestly, the bullpen's not too bad at this Wait, I don't have anybody in the bullpen. I don't know what I'm talking about. But Andrew Chafin's a good card. I like him. Adam Dunn off the bench. Sure, might as well do that. Zach Britton out of the pen. We got some good lefties. Tommy Hunter. That's fine with me. Gregory Soto. Fourth and hopefully final lefty. We can do... Let's just get a utility guy off the bench. Let's get 89 Velo in the bullpen. And because I have both Mike Schmidt and Michael Young on this team, those are the only silver cards I have left. So actually, if I get to that 500 parallel XP, I can just go to the bench and swap them out for maybe Rafael Devers. So taking a look at this team for Battle Royale, this is beautiful. The first four guys are program cards. And then it's 99 Carlos Santana, the 97 Jeremy Pena, Max Muncie, Mark Canna and Gary Sanchez with Rafi, Santander, and Adam Dunn on the bench. That is such a nasty hitting Battle Royale team. No gameplay with this team though. I just wanted to draft because I know some people like to see those. Figured I would throw it in at the end since I was probably going to end up drafting another team anyways. I'm going to edit this video and get it up. I hope you all enjoy it. Be sure to drop a like. Subscribe for daily uploads. You might enjoy one that's on screen right here. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in tomorrow's daily upload. Peace out.